Hey, welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend. It's great to be back with you this week. We only have three days this week, three days next week. And I don't know about you, but Easter is my favorite holiday. I know a lot of you probably like Christmas. I like the 4th of July because we're up at the lake, but I love Easter. And um, I just asked Peyton to hide an egg for me, so I just found it. It sounds like it's got a little treat in it. I actually don't like jelly beans, so hopefully it's not jelly beans. But I just found it. I told them to write something. I expirational like inspirational oh it's jelly beans I like jelly beans um on there for me to share with you so i'm excited to see what people probably something really exciting that to share with you so let's see what he wrote ah, he wrote boomer he keeps calling me a boomer it's so rude but i get up again Hartford at Pike Lake with Emma and her fiance Zach and Peyton. And you guys who had me term three or term two, you know, like I've had this cough since December and it hasn't stopped. And I coughed on the hiking trail without covering my mouth and I got the dirtiest look from this guy. I felt so bad. I didn't really realize why he was giving me a dirty look until after we had passed a significant period of time. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, she thinks I have COVID and I coughed without covering my mouth because I've been coughing so long. And um, so he probably wrote some really nasty posts about me, but I don't have Corona. I hope you don't either. And I hope you're great. Um, just a doctor update for those of you who had me term three. I just saw a virtual doctor today and um, we're going to try something else. So hopefully I can stop coughing and get my singing voice back. So I can actually sing along with you. I get knocked down, but I'll get up again. Anyway, I love Easter. It's raining out right now. And I took a little few moments to talk to you about this week. So I want to do that. So this is kind of the lesson plan for the tomorrow, today. Tuesday. And um, whenever I hear the word function, which is marketing functions, I think of um, the throwback conjunction, junction, what's your function, which is from Schoolhouse Rock that I had when I was little. I don't know if you had that or if you listened to it, but I put that in here for you guys to let, take a look at. It'll just be stuck in your head, and I get knocked down, but I get up again. Might be stuck up in your head. Um, then I put this in. Nepris is a resource that a lot of teachers are using, and it's got like these virtual job shadows and it's kind of cool. So we might use that at some point. So just sign up for that um, and you can take a peek at what's in there. Um, so we're going to, obviously everything is kind of different than what I normally do it, but this first project isn't super different. Um, I'm going to give you three different functions of marketing and those are going to be in this doc right here. I'm not going to open everything um, for you to research. So you did kind of an overview of them on Thursday and Friday. I'm going to have you dig a little bit deeper um, and then take a peek at the rubric, and you're going to be looking at all three functions, telling us a little bit about them, um, digging deeper, finding a video about them that's kind of short, and then doing a short, like, informal presentation with me, mostly so I can get to know you, and then also to just kind of clarify some of the functions. So we're not going to do all of them. That's so what we normally do is all of them in, like, four groups or five groups, but we're just going to do three of them. Um, so your functions that you're assigned to are here, the rubric is here, and you have until next Wednesday to do it because you're going to be doing like post-test on each of the functions each day. Um, so this first day, you'll be doing two post-tests. Um, so today, Tuesday, you'll be doing two laps, um, two slideshows, two post-tests, MK004 and F110. So if you had... Um, principles of business you kind of know the get-go on how that works read the slides and the laps but if you haven't had this um, the principles of business class can you email me if you want a little bit more details on how to do the post tests and laps um, and how that all works if you are getting below a 70 on your post test I'm gonna give you a freebies for these 
for this whole first project, um, then you probably want to do a little bit more reading in your labs, the reading materials. So look at those, do those two post tests. Um, you don't need to do a check in with me today, but just make sure that you review the rubric. Then I wanted to show you one other thing that's not completely all there. So I can't find my archived marketing class from term two. It's gone. And so I just emailed IT. I had it like a week and a half ago because I just used it. But it's not there. So I wanted to put some examples on here. Those of you who've had this before with me, you kind of know this format. This is project one and all the resources for it. Project two, three, four, five, I'm combining and I am not ready for that yet. So that's going to actually start the week. Um, next week, Friday is kind of my plan to start that. It might actually be the following Monday. So this is kind of your slides that you already went through last week. You can ignore the contract team project plan. This is the rubric again for this project. There's a Quizlet just for vocabulary. And then I just put some other things. I kind of want you to know if you ever take another HSB class or if you're doing them backwards, that these are some things that you would be doing, but we're going to skip them. Um, MK004 is what you're doing right now. And then below this shows you all the resources. So if you were assigned to do this project with information management, product service management, and channel management, the process and reading that you get on Classroom are going to be good resources. But here's like another resource that's on Canvas. Get the facts straight is like some reading material on Canvas that you could use as a resource. But you can also Google like what is information management, what is project service management, but there's some resources on Canvas. And I can actually activate a lot more resources for you. So if you feel like you're still not understanding it, um, you can just talk on the phone. You can do a FaceTime or a Zoom or um, there's some more reading that you can do on campus. So I'm happy to do that. At some point, I'd like to talk with you each individually. When you do your presentations, which will be next week, Wednesday, Thursday, um, Friday, I think, you'll sign up for them. Um, you can do them just one-on-one -on -one with me and we'll just take like five, 10 minutes or you can do them in small groups. So if you're friends with somebody in the class, you wanna do a small group, um, presentation so you can each hear each other. That's totally fine. You're each going to do your individual um, presentation, but you can present with a friend if you want to on Zoom. Um, if you have troubles with Zoom, maybe send me an email just so I know. So anyway, sorry, jump around, but I get up again. Um, so here's some more resources for you. Here's some optional reading if you want to learn a little bit more about marketing. Curious if any of you jumped in on that webinar on Friday. It was meh kind of a lot of talking about the what ifs and we don't really know what's going to happen with uh, the results of the consumer behavior on co COVID's result of a uh, on consumer behavior. I can tell you I think people are going to be a lot more thoughtful about what they buy and what they use in their home. Um, so that's kind of fun. Peyton got a roll of toilet paper for his birthday. That was kind of fun. They did a parade for him. I don't know if I go do that. Um, we had a little parade by our house. It was super fun. So anyway, um, other than that, check your email every single day, please. I'm going to be touching base with you. If you don't do stuff, I'll probably call you. And that's super annoying to have your teacher call you. Hi, it's Mrs. Starkey. Why am calling? Um, if you want me to call you, just email me. I'll call you. Um, and then late work is super annoying. If you do do late work, you're going to want to screenshot it and send me an email because I won't be able to keep up with late work. So just make sure you do that. Just don't do late work. Do your stuff on time. And then um, do a great job today. Tomorrow and the next few days are going to look really, really similar to today. Um, and then I just want to give you a sneak peek of the project that we're doing. And then I will shut up. This is a long video. Um, the project that we're going to be doing is kind of all these um, performance indicators combined. You are going to be creating a pro promotional plan for a person or a company or a group. Um, and you're going to be creating um, a new logo, color scheme, social media campaign for some sort of company. So it's going to um, incorporate all these or person. Um, so it's not exactly what HSB would normally do, but it's a lot of fun. And it's what I've done in marketing for the last few years. And I'll show you some examples. It's going to be really fun. So start thinking about that. And I'll be quiet now because this is a 10-minute video. And I promised I wouldn't be so long. Um, I hope you have a great day and do your best and if somebody knocks you down get up again i'll see you soon have a great day bye